Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today I want to have a little video talking about the Crimson Dervish mod in Warframe and how you can farm it. If you didn't know, the Crimson Dervish mod is one of those rare mods that's really hard to acquire all in all. Smelling's hard. Right here, it is a sword stance that you can use on things like the one-handed sword, such as the Broken War. And it is a fan favorite and a very well-loved stance, so that's why we're going to go over how you could farm this stance today. It's actually kind of a pain to farm. First off, this mod drops from regular Grenier enemies the Bombards, and little well, Bombards, however you say it, and the couple of variations of them. It drops at an incredibly low chance, so there is a chance just running Grenier missions, you may actually get this mod. Reminder, if uh, the video helps at all, to sub, like, and, you know, comment down below. You can always check out my Twitch as well at twitch.tv slash pupsker. You can also farm the mod on Yam and Void you know, here. It is a mission drop at the end, but it is at such a low percent drop chance as well. It is at a 0.5% drop chance that the actual chance that you get Crimson Dervish is very low. But this is a very good endo farm if you're doing it with a proper setup. So if you know what you're doing, it may actually be worth farming up this node just to get some endo, and hey, you might get the Crimson Dervish mod. I've only collected three my entire years of playing, but that's because I've never specifically farmed it, and all three of those have just been from playing the game Random Grenier, Grenier sorry, Bombard Drops, so it isn't hard to get if you play a lot, but it's hard to get if you're farming it. There is one enemy specifically that you can actually farm in order to get the item. And that is an enemy that you come across in the Silver Grove questline. The enemy that you come across in the Silver Grove questline is called a Knave Spectre. And the Spectre, I believe, always takes the form of Loki. It's not really too tanky or anything at all. And I would recommend, in order to spawn the Knave Spectre, you go to the Mantle Capture Quest here. You can find the specific spawn for the Knave Spectre on any Grenier Forest Tile mission. But it comes with a catch. First, you'll definitely want to have done the Silver Grove questline, right? Because you have to spawn the Knave Spectre in a specific way. If you've ran the Silver Grove questline, you should know that the Silver Grove has a shrine. This is the Silver Grove shrine right here. It's what it looks like, right? This is where you spawn in the Knave Spectre. But the spawn in method specifically requires you to use the Apothic. I think it's Nightfall Apothic. Let me check. Yep. It is the Nightfall Apothic here. You have to put this on your gear wheel and use it to spawn the Knave Spectre. The issue is the Moonlight Dragon Lilies, the Dusklight Saracenia, and the Sunlight Thresh Cones are kind of a pain to farm. The Moonlight and Dusklight items, I believe the Moonlight has to be spawned in at night. And the way you actually farm them is simply by just scanning the Moonlight Dragon Lilies. The Sunlight Thresh Cones, I believe, spawn in only in the day, and you have to scan the Sunlight Thresh Cones in order to pretty much pick them up. You can just scan them with a codex, you know, regular codex scanner. And I believe the Dusklight Saracenia, those might spawn either day at night. Either way, look for those and yeah. So the easiest way to go about that is pretty much jump in solo since it has a day and night cycle. Yeah, just jump in the Grenier capture here because again, I have to show how to do this because it's honestly a pain. If you've done the Grave or the Silver Grove quest, the Knave Spectre kill before, this might be a little familiar for you, but if not, okay. I can use, I believe, either the Codex Scanner or the Synthesis Scanner. Um, you can have Helios equipped as well to make it easier if you would like, but simply put, it is daytime right now. As you can see, that is a Moonlight Thresh Cone. Oh, is it 
Is it? Oh, no, it's nighttime. Never mind. So the Moonlight Thresh Cone. I need the Sunlight Thresh Cone, so scanning that won't really do me anything good there. There are no Dusk Light like lilies or moonlight lilies and what have you here. So I'm going to continue running around until I find some. There might be some in these areas down here near the water. Nope, none here. Okay. Let me go quickly grab that capture target just in case. So yeah, this is where you'd run for like the uh, sunlight thresh cones. But as you can see, yeah, it's, uh, it's currently not the time. So... Yeah, run around Grenier Forest Tiles. You can do whatever Grenier Forest Tile like you personally want to get the Thresh Cones and everything, but none there, none there. Because I just want to... Oh, it's some... I just want to show off what the, uh, like, the lilies and stuff look like. I believe they usually spawn in a little kind of clump together. They don't usually spawn in these areas. Okay. But we'll see shortly enough. I think a lot of them generally spawn in like these open areas like this. I might actually have better luck just looking around for it though, to be honest too. Maybe my eyes are better than uh, the scanners. Hard to say, hard to say. Because these are very hard to find. There they are. So that's how you pretty much find the nighttime things to scan, the moonlight jade leaves, the any of them. You just have to run around forest nighttime tiles. It's hard to find them, and honestly, that's why it's a pain to farm them. Because they uh they just kinda suck to look for. You have to run around all the time. The pine cones at least are pretty easy. Cause those are just everywhere, but everything else can kinda be a pain. So make sure you look around the map for the entirety of just any flowers that look like the ones you need. Scan them in. But all in all, yeah, it's definitely kind of a pain. Let me see if there's some spawned in over here, right? More moonlight jade leaf, moonlight thresh cones. So all in all, not too bad. But it might take a little bit to get a good amount of them, enough to farm up and spawn the... Silver Grove uh, Nave, so yeah, keep that in mind. It is a pain to farm, and that's just how it is. Go in the sun, well, the daytime, I should say, get the sunlight thresh cones. Uh, it's just such a pain. So the Dusklight Saracenia itself, I should mention, those are found specifically in the Grenier Shipyard missions. So if you need a ship, go, I mean, to this one here. And if you need the Moonlight Dragon Lilies and the Sunlight Thresh Cones, those are Grenier Forest Tiles. I wasn't able to find the Moonlight Dragon Lilies as they're a little, little rare, but hey, that's okay. Anyways, that's it for this video. I just wanted to talk about how to get those mods and yeah, if you ever want to get them, make sure you run the Silver Grove quest line. If not, you can always just buy them from another player, or get lucky and get it from a Grenier Bombard drop. So, thank you all for watching, I appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Peace!